Next we study comparison test. So let us state what this test is. We consider the sequence an such that limit n tends to infinity an equal to 0. If sequence bn is a sequence such that mod bn less than or equal to mod an for all n, then limit n tends to infinity bn is also equal to 0. So this test is called comparison test because we are comparing the sequence bn with the sequence an. So all the elements of the sequence bn are less than or equal to all the elements of the sequence an and moreover limit n tends to infinity an equal to 0. Then you can conclude that limit n tends to infinity bn is also equal to 0. So this is the essence of the comparison test. Let us consider one example. Example 1. I will write as a problem, find limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n. Let us write the solution of this example. In order to apply the comparison test, we take this sin n by n as bn. And then we have to compare it with a sequence whose limit is known to be equal to 0. So 1 of such sequences is 1 by n. So we take, so this is a suitable uh, sequence which we consider to compare with the sequence sin n by n. So we take a n equal to 1 by n. So this choice is very important. So we take a n equal to 1 by n and we already know that limit n tends to infinity a n is in fact equal to 0. And moreover, mod bn, that is mod sin n by n, is less than or equal to mod 1 by n. Because this mod sin n is always less than or equal to 1. Because sin n lies between minus 1 and 1. So that mod sin n is less than or equal to 1. So we have mod bn less than or equal to mod a n for all n. And we also observed that limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to 0. Therefore, we conclude that limit n tends to infinity b n, that is limit n tends to infinity sin n by n is also equal to 0. Let us consider one more example. Find limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n plus n divided by n. Again, we consider the sequence bn as minus 1 raised to n divided by n. Now, we try to compare this sequence bn with a non-sequence and again our choice of an is 1 by n. And we know that limit n tends to infinity an is equal to 0 and also mod bn which is mod minus 1 raised to n by n is obviously less than or equal to mod 1 by n. Therefore, we get that limit n tends to infinity bn is equal to 0. But bn is in fact minus 1 raised to n by n, not the sequence which we have considered. It is in fact minus 1 raised to n plus n all divided by n. So, limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n plus n all divided by n we may use the sum rule to write this as limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n by n plus limit n tends to infinity n by n. And this is equal to 0, that is what we have proved earlier, plus limit n tends to infinity n by n. n by n is always equal to 1. So limit n tends to infinity n by n is equal to 1. So that is equal to 1. So 0 plus 1. And we get the answer as 